Avraham Yeshaya Karolitz, popularly known by the name of his magnum opus, Chazanish, was a Belarusian-born Orthodox rabbi who later became one of the leaders of Haredi Judaism in Israel, where his final 20 years, from 1933 to 1953, were spent. Early life. He was born in Kosava, in the Grodna Governorate of the Russian Empire, the eldest son of Rabbi Shma Yehu Yosef Karolitz. The Rav of Kosova, his mother was Rasha, the daughter of Rabbi Shaul Katz and Elbogen. His younger brothers were Rabbi Mir, Rabbi Yitzchak, and Rabbi Moshe. Rabbi Yitzchak Karolitz succeeded their father as the Rav of Kosova. He and his wife and daughter were shot to death in their home by the Germans in mid-1942. A sister, Miriam, would eventually marry Rabbi Yakov Yisrael Kanievsky, the Stipula Gaon. The Stipula referred to his brother-in-law, Rabbi Avraham Yeshaya, as his mentor as long as the latter was alive. As a youth, Rabbi Karolitz was sent to study under Rabbi Haim Zolavichik of Brisk. He did not take to the Brisker method of study, and later it became clear that he actually opposed it. After two years, he returned home and continued his education, learning with his father who was head of the local Beth Din. He married Bashi Bei, emigration to Eretz, Israel. He moved to Vilna in about 1920, and became close to Rabbi Haim Grodzinski, consulting with him in all religious and communal matters. Encouraged by Rabbi Grodzinski and with Rabbi Abraham Isaac Cook's help, the Chazanish settled in Eretz, Israel, then the British Mandate of Palestine, in 1933. His house in Bnei Brak became the address for thousands who sought his guidance. Rav Karolitz manifested unusual talent and diligence from an early age. He devoted his life to the study of Torah while simultaneously gaining knowledge in secular sciences such as astronomy, anatomy, mathematics, and botany. After his marriage, he continued to lead an extremely modest life, his wife providing for their needs while he spent day and nights studying Torah in depth. He did not have any children. Influence Though he held no official position, the Chazanish nevertheless became a recognized worldwide authority on many matters relating to Jewish law and life. He did not publish many responsa, yet still achieved recognition as a leading authority on Halakha. He declined to participate in any of the religious political movements which were very active prior to and during the formation of the State of Israel in 1948. Yet, he had an immense influence on Haredi Judaism in Israel, whose formative period coincided with his years in Israel. David Ben-Gurion, the Prime Minister of Israel, and Yitzhak ben Zedviah, who became the second President of Israel, visited him once to discuss political religious issues. The story is told that the Chazanish argued that the secular community's needs should defer to those of the religious community. He used the Talmudist discussion of two camels which meet on a narrow mountain pass as a metaphor. A camel without goods was expected to defer to a camel laden with goods. Similarly, the Chazanish contended secular society should defer to religious society, which bore the goods of tradition. Chazanish etrog, there is a variety of baladi citron in his name, which he certified for use as an etrog of the four species. After one sukkot, the Chazanish handed Rabbi Mitchell Yehuda Lefkowitz a packet of seeds taken from the etrog he had used for the festival and instructed him to plant them in his yard. Rabbi Lefkowitz, who had no agricultural experience, followed his mentor's instructions to plant and water it, and the tree grew and bore fruit. Every year the Chazanish came to select his etrog for the holiday from the tree, as did his brother-in-law, the Stipula Gaon, and other Gedala Yisrael. Rabbi Lefkowitz also allowed etrog growers to take cuttings from the tree to grow entire orchards of etrog and certified as kosher by the Chazanish. Bibliography In 1911, he published his first work on Orach Chaim and other parts of the Shulchan Arush in Vilna, anonymously under the title Chazanish. 
meaning vision of man, the word ish alluding to the first letters of his two names, the title by which he became almost exclusively known. Although essentially an academic scholar, he applied himself to practical problems, devoting much effort to the strengthening of religious life and institutions. His rulings on the use of the milking machine on Shabbat and on cultivation by hydroponics during the sabbatical year are two illustrations of his practical approach. Chazanish wrote over 40 books in clear Hebrew, in contrast to other great acronyms such as R. Haim Solovichik, the Chazanish is known for avoiding formulaic or methodical analysis of Talmudist passages instead preferring a more varied and intuitive approach similar to that of the Rishonim. The Chazanish also discounted the need to delve into Musar as a formal study, feeling that a life dedicated to traditional Torah study would guide one toward the proper path. He particularly rejected elements of the Novardoc philosophy, such as their extreme self-effacement and antisocial behaviors. In one of his regular lectures, Rabbi Aharon Liebsteinman spoke about studying Kabbalah, and related that the Chazanish had vast knowledge in Kabbalah. The Chazanish studied with a secret Kabbalist known as the Baker of Kosovo, Chazanish, Faith and Trust, translated by Y. Goldstein, Amasefa, 2008. ISBN 9789657452004